these deadly monsters are hiding in safe havens, but they're waiting in the wings. When the time comes, they'll be able to arrange a real Armageddon on Earth. These are nuclear bombs. Each of them, on average, has a power of 50 megatons of TNT equivalent and the power to sweep away all life in a radius of 50 kilometers around it. Now, according to the estimates of the Arms Control Association, there are 15,000 such dangerous weapons in the world. What happens if you detonate all these nuclear warheads at once? Would they destroy all of humanity or even erase the planet Earth from the solar system? But before our planet turns into a heap of glowing radioactive ash, you probably want to spend the last few seconds of life on Earth achieving legendary greatness. The best assistant for this is the mobile game Raid Shadow Legends. It has an outrageously cool storyline, totally awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize and make you forget about any impending nuclear annihilation. After all, when you see the brand new level of performance they've squeezed out of every detail in this mobile game, Armageddon will be the last thing on your mind. By the way, with a large-scale tournament featuring prizes and bonuses expected soon, don't delay. Play today! Especially since, for Riddle subscribers, the Raid Shadow Legends team has prepared a special gift. Follow the link in my video's description and get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program. Just look at the detail on these champions. See you on the battlefield. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Great! We'll select the optimal nuclear charge for destroying the Earth. First, let's see what gives such mega-destructive power. An atomic bomb stuffed with uranium isotopes or plutonium. After detonation in isotopes, the fission chain reaction begins. This process is accompanied by the release of huge amounts of energy and leads to a super explosion. Such an explosion in 1945 allowed the little boy atomic bomb to destroy the Japanese city of Hiroshima, more than 140,000 people, and Fat Man in Nagasaki to take 75,000 lives. Since the days of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, nuclear monsters have pumped up their muscles and are capable of killing immeasurably more people. All the horrors of such attacks can be shown on an interactive simulator, which was developed in the framework of the Outrider Foundation project. Computer simulation allows nuclear annihilation anywhere in the world. An online simulated detonation can also be sent to your home, although, of course, the consequences are quite obvious. There would be nothing left of your home, just a big black charred smoking hole that used to be your neighborhood. But this is only a simulator, where you dictate the rules of the game. In the real world, all the hellish economy of the world belongs to the five countries participating in the nuclear club. China, France, Russia, Great Britain, and the United States. They agreed to gradually reduce the number of such weapons, but gradually Pakistan, India, Israel, and North Korea have been adding to them, which are not bound by any obligations. And the club members are also not in a hurry to get rid of their deadly toys. 90% of them belong to the USA and Russia. Most of the weapons of the two countries are 10 to 50 times more powerful than Little Boy. The total strength of the deadly charges is 6,600 megatons. This is a tenth of the part of the solar energy that the Earth receives every minute. It's hard to even imagine how much trouble can do all this good. If you bomb only one B-83, according to some calculations, 1.4 million people would disappear from the face of the Earth. In addition, 7.2 million people would be injured because of the radius of thermal radiation would reach 13 kilometers, that's 8 miles. And even half of the arsenal of each of the country's nuclear giants would be able to destroy almost all of humanity. However, other states, owners of a modest stock of 340 bombs, can also cause global ills. So, if India and Pakistan hit each other with their 220 nuclear warheads, 20 million people would die in the first week. 
However, even a peaceful arms buildup can lead to a catastrophe. New research from scientists at Michigan Technological University has shown that 100 nuclear weapons are the limit for defense. A larger number would ultimately destroy society in any country, primarily because exceeding this limit would adversely affect the environment. Fields in such a country would gradually become less fertile, yields would drop significantly, and famine would break out. But even if the storage of the weapon itself is capable of causing enormous damage, then its direct use would lead to more global calamities. For example, 239 nuclear little boys could completely destroy the United States. But these are just little flowers compared to one day when atomic weapons will become so numerous and powerful that the whole Earth and life on it couldn't sustain. Graphic designer Maximilian Bode calculated that by splitting our planet by forces of 15,594 SAR bombs, which have up to 58.6 megatons of TNT equivalent, even the low-powered little boy would need only 3.5 million brothers for a real party on the planet. And perhaps these charges wouldn't just split the Earth, but also send it straight to the sun, to certain agonizing death that no sunscreen could ever protect you from. Fortunately, due to the large diameter of our planet, it's almost impossible to push us out of or alter our established orbit. Even the most powerful eruptions of supervolcanoes, whose strength exceeded the possible joint nuclear strike many times, couldn't move the Earth even by a millimeter. However, Luke Dones of the Southwest Research Institute of the United States calculated that only 18 megatons of nuclear charges could theoretically be able to knock the Earth off orbit, turning it into a space wanderer. This is a billion, billion big detonations. It's even theoretically impossible to make the number of bombs required for that. Well, if only because they would occupy the entire surface of the Earth, ousting their creators. But even without so many charges, you can destroy the world. Only two nuclear explosions with a capacity of 100 Hiroshima's won't bomb the entire planet to pieces, but could lead to a climate catastrophe. This conclusion, according to the results of computer calculations, came to specialist Michael Mills of the National Center for Atmospheric Research in the USA. The scientist drew his conclusions on the example of a potential conflict between India and Pakistan. The first strikes of atomic bombs fall on major cities. Unprecedented fires flare up everywhere, filling the whole stratosphere with smoke. Soot obscures the sunlight and brings eternal twilight to Earth. In addition, soot and chemicals, in particular nitric oxide, after rising into the air, would rip the ozone layer to shreds. Then the destructive ultraviolet would flow in a powerful stream for the rest of the Earth without protection. It would cause many plants to mutate and destroy all phytoplankton in the oceans, which means that they would leave part of the fish and other aquatic species without food. In addition, 6.5 tons of radioactive substances would get into the upper layers of the atmosphere, and acid rain would start to pour on the entire planet all over the world. Because of this, 2 billion people, or almost a third of the world's population, would starve. And yet, this is minor compared to what would happen if you blew up the world with super warheads like Russia's RDS-220 hydrogen bomb, known in the West as the Tsar Bomba. These powerful detonations would lead to the average temperature on the surface of the Earth to drop by 8 degrees Celsius, or 46.5 Fahrenheit, and many regions of the Earth would be ice-bound for decades. Under such conditions, agriculture would suffer a complete catastrophe, so that most of the inhabitants of the planet would starve without food. But the real apocalypse awaits us if the doomsday machine hits the ground. So-called is the atomic bomb of the future, which can cut into a supervolcano 
or get into a humble coal mine. This would increase the amount of soot that would rise to the atmosphere a hundred times greater. As a result, not a single ray of the sun would penetrate the planet, and nuclear winter would come. All oceans would freeze, and the land would be covered with a thick layer of ice. Life would survive only near geothermal sources on the seabed. The Earth would forever turn into a white, cold ice planet, on which, of course, there would be no people. No power would bring them back. But even if mankind is revived by some miracle, it wouldn't remember the bitter experience of its ancestors and would no doubt eventually repeat the same mistakes again. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and click on the bell so you don't miss anything. Yes, and don't forget to tell your friends about us. It's more fun to watch new issues together.